Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Here we are in Antarctica and we're heading up towards Megalopolopolis. Yes, the last, uh, the last achievement, uh, not achievement, the last milestone is the word I'm looking for for our city. It has grown pretty, pretty big and I'm surprised, you know, that it is doing so well considering... I would say I'm not as much of an expert in inverted commas on vanilla as I am uh, with mods because I rely on mods so much because I use them so much. I love the mods. I love the mods. But things have been going really well. Traffic has not been a problem considering we've got everything crammed in on this side. Let's just zoom out here and have a look at our traffic. So we've got a little hot spot running through here, which is just busy. I mean, that's not a problem. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't thinking this was a problem. What the heck is going on here? So we've got, let's just, let's just have a look. So this is the main road coming through. They're then using this as a main road as well. Through here. Instead of sort of coming through on another section. Okay, yeah. Well, maybe we could sort of help with that. Oh, there we go. Oil has reached level four. Excellent. So we've got some more buildings there. What I might just do here is simply add on traffic lights because there's so many people wanting to use this junction. And hopefully that can get sorted. And then this one here, so many of them want to turn left. Ah, oh, they're coming into this. If I said no and sent them further down, there's nowhere to turn around and come back, is there? Oh, that's a shame. So we might sort of sort this. Yeah, this is going down. This is going down. So basically, it's queuing to get into here. Right, okay. Um, Not entirely sure. Whereabouts are we? Oh, yeah, I've just got in my head where we are. I'm not entirely sure what else I can do. We did used to have this as a one-way loop, but it's actually where they're coming in through there. If I turn off that stop. Oh, that's where people are coming out, isn't it? Actually, look, it's gone down already. It's gone down already. It's just this main little drag here. Let's just keep an eye on this a minute. This main road here and this turning up the side here and see whether those traffic lights help. Yeah, that's not too bad. Every time the lights change, we flush out all the traffic from this road at the top here, which is what I want to see. I don't want it building back past the junction and that's not too busy and the other two yeah there we go we've solved that little problem there that's good and there was one other little spot wasn't there um no, that's okay you can see there's no cars there this is just busy no that's fine what is the actual figure for traffic 87 percent. you know that is not too shabby even if i do say so myself let's empty the cemetery right so today we're going to build in this area over here and i really would like to add in a cargo airport and an airport. That, those are the ones that we've got access to at the minute. So I think that'll be really helpful. Um, we don't have, I mean, considering all of this comes through this little tiny road here, it's working okay. Ideally, I think this would have its own junction over here, but at the minute it's fine. Uh, as we've seen, we have jumped up to level four and now we do have, well, we had access to this already and I didn't put it in the printing press, another factory, and I'm going to put that Facing up against there. And what does this need? Paper and plastics. Well, we have paper and plastics in abundance. We've got paper there and paper there. Plain timber. Unique factory products and plastics. There we go. So I might just... That's got to be on fill. Our plastic production is a bit lacking. So which one is doing that? The petrochemical plant. We've got one there. One there. What do they need? Oil. And we do have plenty of oil. So it's just a case of getting that over there to these guys to be turned into plastic. Ah, what was the extra option that we had for making plastics that's perhaps going to help us? So we've got the crude oil storage cavern. Oil industry storage. I like that, actually. I'm going to pop another one of those in just because I like the way they look. I'm going to put that there. Uh, this is all storage. So we've got waste oil refinery. That's petroleum. Petrochemical plant. Oh, okay. The next one we want is... Is it the naphtha cracker plant? Yeah, level five. And that will produce even more plastic. But yeah, I like the look of this one. Really cool, really cool. We'll leave that on balanced. Excellent. And then this... I'm going to put it up to 150% anyway. 
and we are making lots of money cool right let's have a look what we're going to do over here so i'm looking at the infrastructure that we've already got here and we've got these roads that come underneath the highway from this side to the other side this one here this one also connects to the highway as does this one move a bit further down this main road goes underneath the highway and connects to this area so it may be and also we're right by the highway here we could have a slip road on and then maybe roads off over here yeah so i'm thinking maybe we'll build off of this road so if we take this one here let's close the oldie traffic box don't be needing that we're going to take this four lane road and i'm just thinking if we just sort of bend it through here it's, it could connect to here as well uh, we've even got this which could be do i want that running through as like a raised highway it's like a couplet sort of thing going on there maybe we'll we'll come back to that one i think maybe we'll stick to these two here so i'd like this road i'm just thinking whether i want it sort of parallel with that one which might be a good idea let's just pause the game a moment if i bring let's attach there if i bring that out at 90 degrees sort of to here and then go like that and then go like this and then we'll delete that one and there we go and then this one can come down and attach to there and we'll do something with that in a moment and then this one can attach to here and what have we got we've got one lane going in and out each direction so that is probably going to end up changing because this isn't going to like being upgraded darn it where's the anarchy <laughs> that we need <laughs> If I delete that, I could probably draw from there. Nope, won't even let me do that. Oh man, I don't want to rebuild this whole thing. Mm. And now I can't even add that road back in again. Don't! Biffa, what have you done? And there's not even a node in the middle there. Okay, there's the <laughs> these two nodes here. What I really want is this one. A two-lane highway that can come out and sort of go like that. And this one is is just not going to do it, is it? Because of this road over here. <sighs> la, 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 la. I'm going to have to rebuild this, aren't I? It's all going to go. It's all going to go. I don't care. It's all going to go. Yes, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. So that's going to come through. Let's pop that through to there. Uh, let's delete that. Okay, here we go. Actually, I'm going to leave that braced in the middle there. So now we can attach these two roads. So if that came straight down like that, that would attach there. And we could do something with that. Uh, this one is only a small one anyway. So that can just connect through to here. And we'll just leave that like it is. I might just make that last little segment asymmetrical just to help get in on there yeah that's showing straight across at the moment because of these and then these two is like an in and an out which yeah i'm gonna just do that and we'll grab this one so if our in our inny is gonna curve around into there and our outy is gonna go up there like that yep that's fine excellent so now we've got access to here that works we'll get rid of that they're looking okay everything's looking okay that should be fine um let's just we can unpause the game again now uh, i'm gonna toggle yeah let's shut that road so i'm gonna put stop signs on these because i think this is gonna get busy so we'll see how that goes excellent right so uh, this one over here i would like to just remove a couple of those we go that looks better this one here um i want to make this the main way through okay let's do it this way yeah like that for now that's what we're going to do and then um i'm wondering whether to put the airport this side or this side i think i might have a different one on each side i mean that's not too big has this got anything else built into it cargo instead of passengers cargo hangers loading platforms trucks so yeah it's just trucks and this one's just uh yeah normal planes and things it's this one here i'm thinking of that's the hub that's also got the trains built in okay so i'm thinking this is going to get busy what i would like is this one on this side 
but I'm thinking about having it on its own little road section up here, which may be attached to a roundabout at either end. I think that is what's going to happen. And I'm going to make it a pretty big roundabout. Yeah, I'm looking for roads that don't exist in, <laughs> in a non-modded. We're going to go with this one. Ah, uh, yes. When will I when will I remember what we have in modded and what we don't have in modded? One day, maybe one day. Now, if this got busier down here, we could then, of course, add in... Mm, do you know what we're going to do here? Add in cross, crosses for passengers and all that sort of thing. Uh, but I think we'll be okay. I would really want these to come down here. So, what's the best way to do this? I mean, if I just go... Come here, what are you trying to do? Oh, is it auto-saving? Uh, I'll have a sip of tea then. Mm. Couldn't see. So, if we go like that, and then go like this. Yeah, there we go. That'll be good. And then we'll bring that in. So we've got the dedicated lanes each way. Although that's going to want to turn again, which is very annoying. But there we go. And then let's just measure that. So that was 900 away. That is 975. Okay. So we go 750, yep, 900. There we go. We'll go like that. We'll go like that. We'll go like that. We'll go like that. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And then we'll take this and we'll go there and there. I know ideally you'd want these to sort of sweep in the other direction, but that's not too bad. And that's not too bad. So we'll leave it like that. Cool. And then this one up here. Do I want to make it a one-way sort of road in? Hmm. I'm wondering what to do here. I think I'm going to take this medium industry road. We're going to bring this out, say, to there. Run that along. And I'm pretty sure, has that got a cross thing in the middle? Will they cross over that? No, they won't. So if we bring them up on the right-hand side, they'll go in and come out, and then we could have a turnaround on the end. I think that might be a good idea. Let's pop one of these on. What's the smallest one? Yeah, that's this one here. Let's... We go like that. And this is literally just for turning around. That's all it's for. So if we do that, and then we could remove those, and then they could leave and come back again. I think that would be a good idea. Uh, let's just check this. Don't, don't want any stop signs on there. They should just go straight in and out. And then on here, we'll add this. Uh, let's have that sort of in the middle there. I think that's okay, isn't it? Yeah, why not? That looks good. Uh, let's just check it's got everything it needs. Quite likely it hasn't. So let's just give this some pipes and such. There we go. And we'll go all the way to the end anyway. Uh, we need to delete these roads, of course, in the middle. And then power. How close are we to getting power? We're not close at all. Um, what can I do to get some power from one side to the other that I could maybe put in here? I mean, you don't want to put any big tall aerials or anything like that in, do you? Because it's just going to get in the way of the planes landing. I think we're just going to go for our earthquake sensors. Um, let's put the power on. That one there and see where we need to do these. We could probably put one in the middle. One either side of there. Yeah, there we go. That's okay. It looks like it should be there. Excellent. So that's the cargo one. And I'm just wondering whether the passenger one, I don't really want, I didn't really want it going up against there. Or do I? Hmm, I'm just wondering. Yeah, I'm just sort of playing around here thinking, could I do something else? Like move that up that way. Have this one come out this way. I mean, would it even fit in there? It would. I mean, that would be a pretty hairy landing. And that would be taking off over all the buildings over there. So ideally going this way would be good. But then it's really close to this road here. I mean, at least this one's got a bit of space over here. I'll move it back again and <laughs> spend another 125,000. We'll leave that where it was. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to change this road access through here. So I am going to have these opposite each other like that because i like that look and i like the fact they're very similar but we're going to change this road access so instead of that one coming in here it's actually going to come out of here instead and go around and leave the space here 
I think that will work okay. So let me just pop this in. There we go, like that. It's putting these junctions quite close together, but I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. And then if we curve this around, do we need to do a little bit of work on the foot of this mountain? I think we might just need to ever so slightly... What have we got? We've got soil availability, so that's good. I am going to just take this back uh, with this one. No, that's the wrong way. I want to go this one here. So I'm going to take that height there. And we're going to... I can take this road off. And we're going to just give us a little bit more space. Then we'll take that and just smoothly smooth it out. A teeny tiny touch. And then we're going to bring this road along and attach. Oh, yeah, darn it. I've messed up there. If I go like that... Oh, there we go. That's okay. I can go like that. Take that one out. And then I can curve this around. There we go. Now that is not too bad. Oh, we've already got cargo plane. There we go. We've already got cargo planes coming in. Let's just take a look at this. So they're not getting in each other's way, which is good. They're dropping off the cargo here. They're coming in one way and then having to go out the other way, which is exactly what we want to see. Very nice, very nice. And they can drive up here, not get in each other's way around the roundabout. They are going to be maybe possibly getting in the way of these guys a little bit. But as this is our first little airport and it's only the small little stands we've got here, I think we're going to just go with that. Oh, just while I'm looking through here, I've realised we don't have a park maintenance building in our city. Uh, I'm going to pop that over here against that road. Excellent. So they can go around and boost all of our parks. And we also have absolutely no post offices at all anywhere. So I'm thinking we're going to add this over in this area. Um, just looking at the roads here, we could have it come up. And sort of be built into this area here. I mean, we could just, because this is cargo, I want to sort of add some buildings that add a little something to this. If we pop this, is that going to be a problem? They come in there, drop off before they get there. I think that will be okay. I just don't want their wings to get clipped as they come around the corner there. Let's just have a quick look. That is quite close, isn't it? If we pop that the other way, let's grab the asymmetrical road here and i'm going to bring it in there like so and then we're going to pop this off the side like that i'm going to just extend that a little bit do 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 grab this road there we go that's far enough away from there excellent and then we'll just make sure that these guys haven't got that stop sign for now we'll see how it goes yeah, that'd be good. And then maybe we could also add some offices in here, just along there. That'll help the power to get along. We do need some more offices, even all the way along this side, I think would be good. We do have some need for industry, so happy to do that. There we go. And while they're building up, we then need to pop some post offices around the place now this is going to add to the every, every building needs access to all the different services to be happy to build up uh, and expand and all that sort of thing so yeah we need to really go to town on popping these in so i think what i might just do is find some spots around the place if, even if it means removing oh let's just quick look at the area of effect okay so that will probably take care of this quarter yeah so we'll see how we can go Oh, that is like the perfect spot. And the noise pollution is so negligible anyway, I really am not, not concerned about that. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. We can see the efficiency, so they're collecting the post where the buildings are blue, which is good. Maybe let's just keep an eye on that for a few moments. I'll tell you what, that is that is pretty good. They are covering nearly the whole of the city, which is fantastic. Look at that. 
yeah, I'm pleased with that. We'll just leave that going. And then all we need to keep an eye on is when they come over here. Oh, we've got a few offices. Excellent. Is that there's enough? Because th this is going to get busy. Yeah, with all of these coming in and out. Hopefully, it's not a problem. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need to add... Oh, this is a bit of a sharp turn here. Do you know what I am going to add here is a curve instead, which means you might lose an office. But, hey-ho. Uh, let's go... Oh, it's the wrong road, wasn't it? We use the industry one. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Excellent. That's fine. Uh, let's maybe pop these offices back in on an angle. Yeah, there we go. Keep it moving smoothly. That is the trick. And we could even add a better way in and out here. But it's going okay. So I'm just going to leave that. That's going okay. Excellent. Lots of mail being sorted. Everybody's happy. We've got some offices built up over here. This is working nicely. Fantastic. And we're working our way up to 60,000 inhabitants, which is absolutely brilliant. Okay, so all of this is working okay. I am going to make a change. Even though I like the symmetry of these two opposite each other, um, I think we need to separate out the uh, tourists that are coming in. Because at the minute, they're just coming in, standing on the main road here. A big industrial road, all these trucks and things coming up and down there. So we are going to move them into this middle section here. Um, and I think that's going to work much better. Unfortunately, it means I'm going to waste a load of money. If I pause the game... Okay, so what is that going to cost to move? That's going to cost 93,000. That's 180,000 altogether. What does it actually cost to buy the darn thing in the first place on its own? 187,000. So I might as well... Oh, another auto save. I'm just going to delete it. Yep. Yeah rather than mess around so if i had it off of this road here i think we discover that that's just going to be let's do it with a nice tree line road uh, i can put that down and we'll oh yeah even though we pause it's still going to cost us darn it a bit too close to that road over there or not i don't know actually because the width of the plane if we unpause is only just outside and these are the same width, aren't they? Yeah, only just outside. So I think that would be okay down there. It's just going to be landing right close to a road. That way round would be too close. Hmm. Yeah, so I think I want it over here. But what we're going to do is move it all the way down there. So it's almost in the middle. Like that. That's what we're going to do. So then, let's get this going again. Uh, these are going to need some water pipes and such. Oh no, there's all water pipes down there already. Look at that. Bit of a planned ahead when he built the road he didn't mean to before. And then we can put in here some transportation options to help these people get to other parts of the city. So I know we've put a metro in uh, on an earlier episode. So where is our nearest, excuse me, our nearest metro line that we can hook up to? We've got this one here that comes down and stops there. We are going to hook into that. And it is going to be right next door. Like that. Uh, we're also going to add um, some taxi stands. And I'm not entirely sure if we have a taxi depot. Is that a taxi depot? That's a bus depot. But that is where the taxi depot is going to go. Hang on, what's that? Oh, taxi depot. There we go. Excellent. So we're going to add that in there. And we're going to connect this. Um, ba -dum -ba -bum, this one here. That one there. Can I not be underground, please? That would probably be... Let's hook into that. There we go. That would probably be better. And I'm just going to join it up to this one. There we go. It's going to sort of sway through there. And then we're going to take this stop here. Let's pause the game. Uh, take that line. And that is going to come all the way down to the bottom there. Excellent. And is this like another line we've just got going up and down here? Have we got lines that are repeating what's going on here? Or does that come from somewhere else? Oh, this one comes from... Oh, it's the clockwise and anti-clockwise one, isn't it? Uh, so that loops, then it comes back down there. I think we'll just leave it like that. I think that'll be okay. So now we know that they can come out of here. They can jump on the metro and then they can come here over to the Hawkey Park 
uh, little metro hub thing that everybody loves to use. Excellent. I'm just wondering whether we could also hook into a train line that we've got over here with the train stop. So we've got this train line here. I think we'll probably be okay with the metro, to be honest. We've got metro everywhere. So, yeah, let's just go with that. Right, so that is working well. Need some detailing, but for now, that's okay. We can see they've got plenty of space to head out over the city, which is what we want. So we're going to leave that going. Uh, just checking some figures here. Looking at our population. Unemployment 12%. So we really do need to add some more jobs into our city i've just spotted that's finished emptying so let's get that going there we go and then also outside connections we were importing a lot of goods um in previous episodes and that's why we started adding our uh, oil industry all the way over here and that has really helped because as we've mentioned before these special goods that come out of here uh, which are going into this one here. Unique factory products, counters goods as well. It just counters more expensive goods, which the game doesn't actually differentiate between. Um, they just go as goods over here. Why are you unhappy? Let's just check you out. Um, so that's good. So that means we're not importing too many. I don't think we're at the point of exporting any. We're exporting a lot of forestry and a lot of oil, which is fine because that's going to make us a lot of money. Uh, you are going to be complaining about noise, aren't you? lot of noise going on over here citizens are sick the ground is polluted oh really let's have a look oh mama it is this big old waste processing complex that is a really bad spot for that and do you know what we're going to move that we popped that there a while ago and then we've expanded all of this around here so i'm just thinking if we can just pick up and move this entire thing this place causes a lot of pollution. So we are going to add it in over here. I'm going to change that and do it again. I want to see... Yeah, so if we popped it there. There is no oil there. That's good. So let's grab that. Let's move that. Pop it at the end of this road here. And I'm pretty sure that will be okay. We can make sure that's still hooked up with power. Yeah, excellent. Let's just check in here. There we go. Yeah, not taking up any oil. And pollution over here is not a problem. Uh, it's going to take a while for the pollution over here to go down. But it will eventually. And then we'll probably add in... I mean, these waste transfer facilities... I don't... If I remember correctly, they don't have a huge pollution to them. Uh, pollution 10. Noise pollution 25. The one we just moved. Pollution 250. I don't know why I placed it there. And then put houses opposite. But hey-ho, there we go. And then let's just take a look at our little oil industry over here. How are things going? We're not importing anything. We're producing everything ourselves, which is fantastic. To get to the next level, we need to get up to 800 workers. We've got space for 939, so that is good. And yeah, we'll definitely produce enough goods by the time we get up to that. We do need to look at other uh, industries. So we don't have ore. And we don't have farming. It's funny. I get comments every now and again from when I spoke about farming in the first episode. Oh, power. Okay, we'll come back to that. Uh, power availability is low over here. It's getting cold. Although they're not using more... They shouldn't be using power for heating. We've got that policy. Yeah, here we go. Look, no electricity for heat. Uh, extra insulation require less energy for heating thanks to the extra insulation layer in their walls and roofs produce less tax income. Um... So I'm not going to do that one. Power usage. Moderately reduce electrical consumption. Upkeep five cents a building. Do you know what? It's just going to be cheaper in the long run to add an extra electrical building in. Um, what could we add? We were going to go for our nuclear power plant, weren't we? Because of it being green in inverted commas, which immediately will give me a ton of people saying it's not green, and another load of people saying yes, it is green. <laughs> in comparison, in comparison. But I'm wondering whether that is just going to be a build we'll keep for another day. Let's just see if we can increase. We've got these in here uh, geothermal power plants. Uh, what have we got over here? We've got offices. We've got this spot here. What's that next to? Park maintenance building. If we could just pop in another geothermal power plant over here. Eventually, we will change all of these out. But I think for now, we could pop another couple of those in. Like that. That should 
Oh, I could probably fit a, fit a third, but I don't want to remove all those offices. Yeah, here we go. That'll keep us going. And that'll be fine for now. So what I'd like you to help me out with is what items would you like to see around this airport area? Let me know in the comments below. I want to try and make it look as realistic as possible. I've just put a water tower in here, by the way. I really think they look like those towers uh, that you get at airports. I think that looks good. Like this one over here has got one built in, uh, sort of on here. But this one doesn't, and I think that one fits really well. So let me know in the comments below. Um, the next episode of Antarctica is probably not going to happen for a couple of weeks. Got some things going on, so I need to just adjust my schedule slightly. So we're going to go back to uh, the New Zealand episode on a regular basis, and Antarctica will be back. So don't worry about that. We have still got to get up to Megalopolopolis, and then depending on how things go, we may continue our city after that as well. How close are we? Oh, not too far to go so thank you very much for watching today thank you for your support subscribe if you're new that's always appreciated so you don't miss out on the next stuff and i will see you soon have a great day take care bye bye